Okay, so this video, if you're not interested in the stuff I'm going to, you can stop watching it now. There's a few of you that I think probably are interested in, in the idea of absorption and, and color mixing. So I've got the two color wheels that we talked about before, um, how this is really the physics one, additive theory. This is more of the art one over here, of subtractive theory, because you're in art class, you're typically mixing pigments, right, when you mix up paints. This is ideal. A color printer uh, can't really make effective black pigment by mixing the colors. It just makes a darkish pink pigment. And you do need the black ink when you color print, uh, even though black is not like, you know, one of the, the red, green, and blue, you know, my primary colors. And just evidence of that here is a couple of pictures of, of color printer cartridges. And so here's magenta, yellow, cyan um, that are really the primary pigment colors. And so again, mixing these makes red, mixing those, um, I'm sorry, mixing those makes green, cyan, and magenta would make, um, uh, man, I'm off, off my game here. That would make, there's blue in both of those. So that would make blue. This would make red because uh, there's red in both of those colors. And if I mix the yellow and the cyan, it makes green. Okay, And you can, the, having a color wheel kind of helps uh, clarify that because that's the mix right there. So the red comes from the magenta, which it's not really a good magenta color there in this picture. That's yellow, right? It doesn't look like a good magenta to me. Um, okay, so uh, some of the things that are kind of interesting, I mentioned that this would be good if you're into lighting things. And so, you know, if I shine a red light on a white t-shirt, it's going to look red, a blue light, right? It's going to look blue. If I mix, if I overlap them, it's going to look purple. When you have something that's red, has red pigments in it, those molecules actually only reflect red colors. This yellow flower, when you put white light on it, it absorbs the blue and the green and reflects I actually misspoke there. The yellow will uh, absorb the blue and reflect both the red and the green. The red, which is a primary perceptive color, right? Uh, that red apple, if it's a nice, strong, clear red, it's only going to reflect red and not reflect the green and the blue. So if I shine all primary colors on it, in other words, if I shine white light on it, this would represent white light. The only thing that gets reflected is the red, that's why it looks red, right? Um, the green and the blue get absorbed. So if you learned about chlorophyll, there's a green leaf of that 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 apple tree. Um, the you know chlorophyll actually doesn't need green to do what it does for the for the light reactions in photosynthesis. I don't know if you remember all that. The red and the blue are absorbed for the light reactions. The green isn't not needed. That's why it looks green. It sends it back to our eye. Yellow, which is actually on this color wheel, Oop, where'd, I, where'd my color wheel go? There we go, is, can be thought of as a mixture of the red and the green. So a, an object that has yellow pigments is going to be able to reflect green. So if I just shine green light on this flower, it's going to look green. If I just shine, I'm trying to move that green flash out, if I just shine red on it, I'm going to send that back, send the order send to back. There we go. If I shine red on it, it's just going to look red. If I shine red and green together on it, it's going to look yellow, because red and green together look yellow, trying to move these guys. And if I shine just blue on it, it actually appears dark. It appears black, essentially, which is maybe counterintuitive, but that's kind of the interesting part of that. Um, I'll be posting some links for uh, illusions, which are fun uh, stuff, not part of physics, but this is, you know, we get to have a little bit of fun. If we had an extra lab period time, I would have done those guys with you anyway. This is not stuff I put in for there, so I'll be posting those links. And this represents the end of the assignment, so please give me feedback. If this was too much video, I want to know it. If it's uh, if you like this, I want to know it. If you don't like it and you want to do something else, please give me your feedback because it's we're going to be doing this for a while, and I want it, I'm doing it for you. I'm not doing it for me. I'm doing it for you. So let me know um, how you think you can learn better, or if you want to have some different types of assignments. I'm going to be listening and trying to do what I can. Okay, thank you.